So I caught these guys trying to cut my catalytic converter. As I got out of my work door, I saw these the Mercedes SLK 500 E Class pulled up, parked right next to my box truck, and some sawzall trying to cut my cat converter. They were, they were almost there too. Right there, yeah. I was running out, and they were cutting it as I came out. Welcome back to the nomadic misadventures of the channel. I'm Dave. I've been living on the road now for almost three years. First, I lived in a minivan and have since moved into a 10 foot box truck. Stay locked into the channel for all the good, bad, and ugly happenings of life on the road. Last episode, we reviewed the super convenient dual zone fridge freezer combo. And without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Catalytic converters, catalytic converters, catalytic converter, catalytic, catalytic converters. The converters are embedded in the exhaust systems of most cars and trucks, making auto emissions less harmful. They contain precious metals, including rhodium, palladium, and platinum, whose value has skyrocketed in recent years. So guys, I'm kind of still in shock. I'm kind of amped up from all this. I can't believe this happened, but then again, I can believe this happened because this is real. It's thousands of dollars that they can cut off. It's so strange because I was just looking at catalytic converter locks and what to do about this. And then someone is cutting my damn catalytic converter. Oh, hell no. I, it's insane. But I got to just thank my lucky stars that he didn't get away with it. It was so close as I was driving it over here. Sounding like a tank from the World War II era. <laughs> without a catalytic converter so i guess call me lucky this job is gonna cost me a few hundred dollars for them to weld it back on thanks so much for these guys that they saw me right away because i told them my situation and they're like all right they're about to close but they're gonna see me anyways and hopefully they get it done okay leaving the muffler shop and my car sounds normal again thank you minor key car care service for seeing me right away i had to tip max the welder 50 bucks just because they did a fantastic job. But I had to tip people that they're working with their hands just like I do. So I gotta hook a brother up, otherwise who would? So here it is, welded back up. Holy crap. Oh gosh. Welded back up, doesn't look pretty, but at least it's intact. During the day, this is how brazen this robbery is. They pulled up right next to my box truck, and since it's already tall, they didn't have the jacket up at all. I saw one guy go underneath with a sawzall, and zzz, you could literally cut off a catalytic converter in 30 seconds if you know what you're doing. Luckily, I just happened to be walking out of the shop at the same time. This is in broad daylight, people. Let me just show you this crazy stat here. Thefts more than tripled from 2020 to 2021, and new data shows another major jump last year to 64,000 thefts nationwide. There's one thing that I didn't mention. This whole robbery thing does make you feel violated. It does make you feel uneasy. It makes you feel like you're unsafe from thousands of dollars no matter where you park. Uh, hear that? Car alarm just went off. Oh man, I, th I hope my solar panels are gonna be okay. Let's look what it looks like outside. Ow. Ow, yep, big chunks of hail, big chunks of hail. Uh, should I stay here? I think I should be okay, but maybe I should find somewhere under a tree so my solar panels don't get cracked. Okay, decided to just stay. False alarm. I don't want to keep moving back and forth and trying to find a big tree to park under at this time of night. It's time to go to bed. Good morning, everybody. We are at Home Depot and we are shopping for some high temp spray so I can spray my catalytic converter to prevent the theft or hopefully to deter the theft. After three stores, I think I found it. So don't get me wrong, I am under no illusion that this will prevent any theft. I am hoping it will deter some theft. This is up to 2000 degrees. This is what's recommended by a lot of police stations is to spray paint your catalytic converter. 
If you have a Dremel, etch your VIN number onto the catalytic converter, even write stolen, stolen, stolen all over it. So if a would-be thief would see that, they might just go on to the next car. Apologies to the next car, but it's a cruel world we live in. It's a cruel world we live in. Let's start with this. The other recommendation that the police have is these cages that you can you can buy. Now I did some research on that and for the price it only gives you an extra 10 seconds, maybe 45 seconds or even up to a minute. Now that might be worth it for you so you can catch the would-be burglar. It would take them a little bit more time. But honestly the best way to do it is to weld some rebar and create some sort of cage. It's gonna be a lot more difficult to cut through and a pain in the ass and hopefully by then they would just move on. They've had these catalytic converter theft rings that will go to dealerships and literally cut off catalytic converters of the entire lot before they get caught. And they're, they're long gone in a pile of somewhere, somehow, these mechanics or these shops are buying stolen catalytic converters. So that's going to be the way to do this is to crack down on the people who buy these things, some shops, some business owners. A major fine, major jail time is really the only way to stop this because if you think about it, right underneath your car is $2,000, $3,000 of cash that someone can take in 30 seconds to a minute. So when you put it that way, a little spray paint, I guess goes a long way. So my catalytic converter is orange now. Shout out to the notification squad who have the little bell icon clicked. There's only a few of us, but we're holding strong. I really appreciate it. I see you guys in the comments section early. If you like my content, consider hitting that subscribe button for more updates. As usual, stay weird, my friends. Peace. It's over a week late, but finally it's here. From Luna Cycle, the Teloria Sting R MX4. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.